Good afternoon guys, or whenever you're watching this, um, I've got a selection of products, I don't know if you can see them there, but I'll be showing them all anyway, and my apologies for this being up at the beginning of July, um, but yeah, I've got some beauty favourites that I'm, uh, well, some June favourites that I've been wanting to share with you. June was also the month of my birth, so I got quite a lot of money to spend on various things. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I included these two products that I'm going to show you. Oh, I've forgotten. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I included these two products that I'm going to show you last time, but I didn't keep the boxes for them. Um, because I had like this much worth of hair root regrowth um, I had to redye it again my hairs my roots are showing again but it's a good thing that my hair is growing because I'm wanting it to grow but I won't be re it again until I get like that much roots again so well, first of all oh hello I'll show you what I use to there we go to do the red and it is Garnier Olea in 6.60 intense red um I really like Olea's hair dye um <laughs> I really like the Olea hair dye and stuff it does give a nice red and it does like last and stuff I like the smell and I like the fact that they use oil in it. The only thing that I don't really like um, is that it takes ages to wash out, which isn't good because I'm still I'm like uh, over the bath with the shower and the hand trying to get it out. But yeah, that's the first hair dye, and then the second one is this one. I used the shade down from this last time and I didn't really get as light ends as I wanted so I decided to go for the ombre number one which is for light brown to dark brown hair and um, I did the ends of my fringe and I also did the ends of my hair now with my hair if I just put it in half it went more towards this end of the hair that it was lighter so if you just see, oh you can't even see, <laughs> yeah so um, I quite like this hair dye or a couple of this stuff, the only thing I don't like about it is this, that brush that you get because my hair is really thick and when it's, when it's wet or when it gets hair dye in it it's really hard to brush through so yeah and also the uh, what's it called again peroxide that's what I was thinking the bleach it makes my eyes look a bit crazy and it looks like I'm, <laughs> I'm bowling up tears but I'm not really um another hair product I literally got this yesterday I tried it out yesterday and it made my hair feel so nice because I'd seen Miss Glamorazzi, Ingrid Nielsen. I've just started watching her that way and I really like her videos. But anyway, I, uh, she uses Garnier Pure I think and I was wanting, I wanted to try Garnier Pure but Silly Helen didn't realise that it's only available in the US and I could get it off Amazon for £4.50 I think with two or three pounds fifty PMP and I don't want to pay nearly a tenner for a bottle of shampoo. So I started doing some research and I found out that the Garnier has no silicones, no parabens and no colorants. So I thought, hmm, I'll try and have a look for some shampoo that doesn't have any of those. And I came across Body Shop shampoo. But that was like a tenner for a good size bottle. But then I uh, I used the Timothy 
Poet Champion von dem schnell. Ähm, oh, hello, Humans. Hello. Äh, <lacht> anyway, ähm, I came across this on the website, it's the Timothy Pure. Um, another YouTuber that I've started to watch who I'm going to include in this video. Um, I was watching her review on it and she said that she really liked it. And she said that she had fine hair or has fine hair and she uses the conditioner of this. But I don't have fine hair so I don't think it's gonna work very well and I love the smell of it. I can't exactly describe the smell of it, but I love the smell of it. Um, da, 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 da. Let's move on to the face. Now, I've had a problem with blackheads on my nose and on my chin for years since I started puberty, basically. Um, and I came across this. It was an offer in Sainsbury's, so I thought, hell, why not give it a go? Um, so it's okay, it's very exfoliating because if I've got a scrub then I want it to be exfoliating, exfoliating, I don't like it feeling gentle, I want to feel that it's doing something. Um, but the only problem is I've got reduced blackheads here and on the sides of my nose but for some odd reason, I have no idea why the beads don't seem to feel like they do anything on the top of my nose so I've still got quite a few blackheads there um, the next two, ooh, and I've got another face this one's got a little bit of a backstory too um, I want, I've, because I've been sunburnt so much on my face I wanted an anti-redness primer or something similar and I had a look at the colour concealer wheels on Amazon and they were like 15, 20 quid I was like no we nobody got no money for that and then I was having a look at W7's anti-redness primer and I read reviews saying that it was rubbish it turned powdery as soon as you put it on and it flicked and then I had the ingenious idea make your own so all I did was I took a bit of white cream makeup that I had over from Halloween um, some of my normal, some foundation, um, some concealer, some two types of green eyeshadow, and my MUA primer. And this is what I came up with. And I've got before and after shots to show you. This is what it looks like. And It, considering it's homemade it does work really well and the only thing is though because I've been breaking out a lot recently and I've got lots of scabs it's kind of stuck on that so I look like I've got green spots but I don't really have green spots so and then we'll move on to your lips Um, I'll start off with this one I wanted a corally colour because corals are getting big this summer and I also wanted to try a matte lipstick um, so I got this one from Vivo which is in Tesco there we go um, and it looks and um, it's okay and stuff and I do like it and I like the colour I've ordered another like corally coloured lipstick off Amazon too so I'm going to have to really quick show this next product because my camera is going to run out of room. Um, it's just a... Now I've seen that I've read a lot of hype about this product. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, it took ages to go there because it came over from America. But it's EOS. And <coughs> there aren't enough words in the dictionary to tell you how much I love this lip balm. It's amazing. You can see that I've used hell of a lot of it and it's the summer fruits one it smells like something that I've had before but I can't think of the name of it it tastes like something that I've had before but I can't think of the name of it so that's my beauty picks for this month I've still got home technology and youtuber and the book that I've been reading this month so I'll 
actually okay so we've got the home picks now for what i've been enjoying for my lovely room the first one is burning right now um is my tu which is sins of rose um on brand clothing and home stuff passion flower and mango and i'll try and show you with it dripping wax everywhere it's gone down right to the bottom nearly because i've been noting this so much um i have a problem with candles because the candles i choose are never sent away so it always like burns off and never burns around the sides so I have to fold it in and stuff which is what I've had to do with my Yankee candle and another candle that I've got um, my next home pick is this pretty nifty air freshener and I got this from Lidl and it's just a gel air freshener and it's supposedly called Orchard Pear it smells really nice um and the next bit of home i got today so i shall uh just get it ready for you and show you this is my other bit of home um i wanted to get some new bedding because my duvet didn't have a cover and stuff and my pillowcases were getting a bit grotty and whatever I didn't get any new sheets but I've got fresh sheets on now <laughs> um, so this is my duvet cover it's got pretty roses on it and it matches my wallpaper yay um, and the pillowcase that I got with it is just the same as the duvet cover and it has this dark pink back to it and it's got the rose design on it still and then I wanted some proper pillowcases for my other pillows so this dark pink pillowcase I got in a set of two from Asda I also got this and the duvet cover in a set from Asda these were £9 this was £2 and then I got this, these light pink pillowcases here and there in a set of two hello facebook um from tesco 40 pounds 50. so that is my last home pick last zoom out of my bed doesn't it look very pretty and you can see my xbox in the corner there with my gimmick and my television <laughs> so yeah okay so for my technology picks um you'll have to excuse this it's on charge <clears throat> i got this with my birthday money it's a um cnm touchpad 10 inch i don't know how well you can see that um it was 184 pounds and i also got a 32 gigabyte mac sd card on offer with it as well the sd card was half price and that was included in the 184 pounds um and then i got this because i thought oh, this tablet would be good for uni when i go so i also got this which is oh hello hello wires which is a keyboard case and stand for it so it becomes like a laptop so i thought that was pretty neat and pretty good for the money um there's an app that i've been loving this month i should just get it up for you it's called flipboard and what flipboard is is it's a like online magazine type thing and you can create an account and you can link it with your facebook and your twitter and everything else and you select what you're interested in and from the categories like style photography design oops music etc etc 
and then my iPad's being slow. Um, whoops, it shows you um, my articles in those sections that it thinks that you'd be interested in. And then you can create you can create magazines of the stuff that you're interested in and you can put that on your account and people can follow you or subscribe I'm not sure and stuff but hopefully this will work and you flip it you flip it so oops so there we've got technology and we've got design and we've got style and everything and if you want to subscribe to me on that then my name is the Rivian on that too my book that I've been reading this month is Private Peaceful by Malcolm Pergo. I started reading this in year 7 I think in high school or as a class I started reading it with my English class and I think we got a third of the way through maybe we, I know we definitely didn't finish it but I really enjoyed it while we were reading it and I finished Life of Pi earlier this year so I thought and we'd found a copy of Private Peaceful and I'd only just remembered about it near the end of May um, so I thought why not get it out and, uh, and read it and I'm about halfway through I think yeah I'm about halfway through I've read this much and I've got that much left to read so it's not a very big book and stuff the book that I'm thinking of reading after it is, um, eh, what's it called? My Shack Pajamas, that's what it's called. I find war books and stuff quite interesting. And then my YouTuber that you should all go and look at is LJS Beauty. And that's the LJS is capitals. So you should go and check her out and leave her a comment and stuff because she's done her June favourites and she's the one who did the review on the Timothy that I got and that I'm loving so I shall talk to you guys soon and stuff and yeah bye